obviously we had a strong shot to win that one, and, and that was that's probably some of the most heartbreak I've experienced in my career. Um, but you know, all you can do is your best, and sometimes things happen and not in your control. But uh, I would have loved to have sealed that one off. What would another win mean for you right now, particularly if you're able to, as yeah. strong as you guys have been to restrictor plate tracks, if you go down and win Daytona again? Man, if we could win a race early on in the season and, and just seal your fate for the chase, uh, it takes a lot of that pressure off the guys that you have in the midsummer. I think it helps your potential in the chase versus that grind, 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 got to get every point to make it. Um, you can do things. You can try fuel strategy. You can try pit strategies. You can um, work on the cars and, and work on different uh, development for later in the season. And, and that's what the best teams do. They win early, they develop things, and they come out, out strong in the chase, and that's what we got to do. How difficult of a transition was it to have? It's only Greg Biffle was a veteran driver last year. Then you go from this year, well, I'm sorry, two years ago, last year, it was you. You were the veteran driver between the two, between the two of you. Is it hard to lose leadership like that and, and still you know, carry on? We actually have felt somebody to fall back. On? We felt really cohesive last year. I thought Ricky and I worked well together, and I, I thought it was actually probably better with two teams. We just seemed the whole shop worked so well together last year, and so I actually, um, you know, obviously Biffle and those guys brought a lot to the table, and Matt and Carl, and having them early in my career. But but now Ricky and I have got to step up like we did last year, and and keep trying to be that those guys that are the leaders of our organization like Greg used to be. If Roush was to expand the three teams again, bring in a young rookie driver, how would you feel about now he'd be the, the mentor you know, and <laughs> the protege? You know, yeah, I mean, that's kind of what Ricky and I try to do with the young drivers we have there. Obviously, they're running uh, four young drivers through with Ryan Reed and Tom Majeski already in the Roush program, and then the other two kind of coming over to fill out the 60 car. Um, it's kind of our role now already to start pouring into those guys. How do you, how do you feel about, you may have touched on this, um, you know, with the point situation, seeing what Martin was able to do last year in a regular season, being able to actually capitalize on the regular season points. Is that a new strategy that you saw play out last year? And Yeah, well, the thing to remember is points are a byproduct, right? They're, yeah. You don't get points because you're thinking about points. You get points because you're running fast and you're finishing well and um, playoff points in particular. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's trying to win a stage. Everybody's trying yeah. to win the race. Everybody's trying to get in the top ten. So um, the one thing that I see for us that we're working on to try to improve that, uh, other than just having faster race cars, is qualifying. That was mm -hmm. kind of a hole in our structure, especially on the six car last year. Um, we fired off qualifying really good the first half of the season, and we kind of faded the last half. And it was harder to get to the front early on in stages when people were maybe doing pit strategy and you could capitalize and get a top ten. Uh, so we got to improve our, our short run speed, our qualifying, to be able to get mm. up to the front and get that track position early in the race and capitalize on stage points. But uh, playoff points, man, they were huge last year when you watched that play yeah. out. And everybody knew it. I just don't think we knew to the extent that it would be. And when you have a dominant car like Truex where yeah. you racked up on so many, it really showed its head. Well, it showed that the, it, it, the opportunity is there. It is there. Yep, yes, it is. Besides being your home track and favorite, you've ran so well at Bristol the last Trevor year. Bay at the Charlotte Motor Speedway 2018 Media Tour. Yeah, uh, Bristol, you know, it's been